Today we're testing out the three most popular hunting cartridges on the market, the 6.5 PRC, 7 PRC, and 300 PRC. The 7 PRC, if you haven't heard of it, is because it hasn't even been announced yet. This cartridge won't even come out until the end of this month around October 26, but I have the first ever 7 PRC rifle to be shown to the public. Today we're going to shoot them through ballistics gel, through water jugs, out at a distance, everything. Let's see what cartridge is best for hunting. Today's video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Explore millions of champion combos, master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, and PvP arena matches. The graphics are console worthy right on your phone. I like Ongar because he's basically a man with four horns, plus a little cheater in the middle. What hunter wouldn't be happy with a five point ram? And the man absolutely cripples enemy waves. Plus, Ursula the Mourner is the best against bosses. Raid has some cool new twists that my sons and I have been enjoying playing this month. If you take down the Iron Twins, you awaken your champions, giving them a powerful blessing with sweet graphics. Plus, a new epic version of Death Knight. Play for seven days between now and October 27, and you'll add Ultimate Death Knight for free de grasa. Any player can use code DKRISES to upgrade a champion to level 50, five star ascension. If you're new, click on my link in the description or scan the QR code for bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Aina, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and an ancient shard. Start playing raid right now. Let's go straight to the fun now. We're gonna set up a ton of milk jugs down there and see how far each gun can penetrate using the same ELDX bullet. We're gonna shoot from 100 yards away. Start with the little guy, 6.5 PRC. Hope I don't miss and hit my truck. Oh, one of the caps just barely hit the ground. All right, let's see the damage here. Obliterated one. Two, three. Oh, got a hole in there. Nothing out the back. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Just one little shard. That bullet really broke up. All right, here's the seven PRC. Bernarnia! Oh! That shot water clear into my truck. Inspecting the damage. One, two, oh, three. Again, the third jug. That's it, that's all I could recover of the LDX. Oh, it's getting serious now. The M1 Abrams wasn't available, so I brought the 300 PRC. This thing is a cannon. Five, four, one. Boom! Oh, oh it just shredded those pit tanks. Oh, sweet. We actually got the most out of that one. Jacket and most of the bullet. So there's obviously some redneck ballistic testing in water jugs. But I have been amazed every time I've tested just penetration between different cartridges, even in ballistics gel, a little bit more scientific. The penetration is identical between the really big cartridges and the small ones. It's the bullet design that really makes the difference. You know, in a video, you guys can go back to it. We tested like 30-06 compared to 6.5 Creedmoor. And, and penetration was the same. Switched to a different bullet type and they penetrated further, but it was identical between the different cartridges, nearly identical. So penetration really just seems to be a lot more about bullet than it is cartridge. But obviously that doesn't mean the terminal impact is the same because you could just see from the water jugs, the 300 PRC turned on a fire hydrant of water out here and the 6.5 PRC was pretty mild. So you think about what that's doing in an animal and it's a big difference. Now let's look at today's fighters. We have the fierce CT rival 6.5 PRC. This is a custom 7 PRC. That barrel is from preferred barrel blanks. It is shooting really well with an MDT Oryx chassis and Widen has made the dies for this. If you haven't tried out Widen dies, by the way, 
they sent me some and they are really well crafted. Definitely going to be getting some orders from me. And then this is the Christensen MPR in 300 PRC. So why do the PRC cartridges even exist? And really there's one reason it's because of the ballistics. It's because they're very flat shooting and very resistant to wind drift while being reasonably efficient as well. But if I were to rank 82 rifle cartridges, the most popular ones that I track, the 6.5 PRC would rank number eight on that list for flattest shooting, least drop out to 500 yards. The new 7 PRC comes in at number six and the 300 PRC would come in at number 25. Now, just because it's number 25 doesn't mean the 300 PRC isn't very flat shooting. It's just that it's using an extremely high BC or ballistics coefficient. It's, you know, the sleekness aerodynamics, I guess, but also the weight of it. So that when you're shooting out at a mile, it's really, really good. All right, this is kind of random, but I brought this sledgehammer to stake the target into the ground. I think we should shoot Thor's hammer here with a 7PRC. I'm just curious if it'll do anything. That's some thick steel right there. Here we are, and... Oh! Dang! That thing put the hurt on the sledgehammer from 100 yards away. That 7PRC is no joke. So recoil. The 6.5 PRC is a great cartridge for people that aren't very high volume shooters. A lot of guys try to, you know, man up and say how good they are with recoil, but if you're only shooting three or four boxes a year, you're not that good at controlling recoil. Sure, it may not hurt you, you may not cry, that's not the point. You have to have no anticipation and no reaction to that gun going off. You need to be able to just shoot it smooth. The 7 PRC is very manageable to shoot. It's very similar to a 7 mag, so a lot of people are going to shoot that well. But it is probably on the higher end of what a lot of people can shoot well. The 300 PRC, I probably wouldn't recommend at all unless you're um, either a, somebody who shoots it a lot and you have good experience with it, or you're using a muzzle device. If you're using a brake or a can on that thing, I mean, it's gonna tame the recoil way down and then it's just not that big of a deal. All right, I have one old block of ballistics gel and one new one. I know it's gonna go through more than one block, even at 100 yards here. We're not testing this point blank. Everybody test ballistic gel point blank. We're testing this at 100 yards. I know it's gonna go through one, so I wanna kinda see what happens after that. Yeah, it sent the first block flying. Here's this one. Penetrated about six inches, but it's pretty much just a straight little pencil line at that point. Didn't do much disruption in the second gel. I'm sure it did in the first. Yeah, super interesting. The 7 PRC really only penetrated, I don't know, an inch further than the 6.5 PRC, but through the second gel, and you can see even the old one, see how there's, I mean, it blasted that first gel, but in the second gel, they're kind of just a little pencil line in there. We'll see the 300. Yeah, just super fascinating. 6.5, 7, 300 PRC. In terms of penetration, there's not a lot of difference between them. Now we're gonna just shoot through this one block just so you can see what it is doing to that front block. This will be with the seven PRC. Gee, should even split my board, just the movement of the gel. That's why I use these buckets and not an actual table. I know it destroys the table. So look at this, this is the seven PRC. Look at that huge. I mean, that thing absolutely crushed what it hit. So, I mean, if you say like that much is whatever meat shoulder stuff, and then we begin the lungs. Interesting. So overall, 6.5 versus 7 versus 300 PRC. Me personally, this is how I'm going to choose to use them. 6.5 PRC is an absolutely awesome western mule deer hunting cartridge. It's flat shooting, plenty of power to be taken down a deer, 
it's just great. It's pretty inexpensive to shoot. Ton of 6.5 bullets out there. Really good option. And you get it in a short action. You go to the 7 PRC, and I feel like that is a money, money elk cartridge. I mean, it's, it's really very similar to a 7 mag, but you're getting all the new kind of advances in ballistics and things like that. So I, I think it's an awesome elk cartridge, great for shooting out to 1,000 yards, super good. The 300 PRC also would be a great elk cartridge, but you have to have it in kind of a purpose-built rifle with a can or a break on it or a little bit heavier or just somebody who's really used to shooting more recoil than what a lot of people can handle well. It would be great on grizzly bear, something like that. Um, but, uh, you know, is it overkill on a deer? No, it's going to work just fine, but it's not necessary to shoot that, something that big either. So for me, the 300 PRC is a little bit more niche than the other two. The 6.5 and 7 would be a great combo for hunting and just general shooting. Thanks for joining me in this video. Be sure to subscribe and support Backfire.